Welcome back everyone for more Secret Saturdays content. It's been so long, but here we return to the world of cryptids created by the brilliant Jay Steffens. I, as an avid lover of cryptids and the supernatural, no, not that supernatural, I've always looked into the strange and mysterious creatures that dot our real life mythology. The Secret Saturdays is perhaps the only series I've ever come across that not only talked about them and explored the concept of cryptids, but also did it based around actual real life references. So today I've decided to bring you guys a detailed list of my favorite cryptids shown in the Secret Saturdays. If you like it and how it goes, think about leaving a like and a subscribe on the video. And even if you don't, I'm glad you're here to join us as we talk about my top six favorite cryptids from the Secret Saturdays. The Amarok, shown in Secret Saturdays as a bipedal wolf-like creature, while similar to the werewolf of myth in appearance, this creature was highly intelligent along with having pack habits. In the first showing of it, it realized when Dr. Cheekboy was about to be saved by Drew and Doc that it'd be outnumbered and fled. Its strength allowed it to toss full-grown men and could even shatter walls, and the Amarok was not a single cryptid, but a group connected to the native burial grounds. The Amarok is actually inspired by Inuit mythology, being in real life massive wolf-like creatures that would prey upon anyone foolish enough to hunt alone. Which could be why they were shown in a pack on the show, but it is known in the legend that Amaroks did solely hunt alone unlike other large wolves. The Amarok could be based on the remembrance of the Dire Wolf, a former group of large canines that once roamed territory all over the eastern world, the last of which was killed around the boom of the early industrialization stages of America. Number 5. Sul Kalu. One of the most sentient cryptids shown in the show, Sul Kalu is actually known as the Cherokee Devil, a legendary figure of Cherokee mythology that plays the role of the great lord of the game and as such was frequently invoked during rituals and hunting ceremonies. First shown in the Secret Saturday, Sul Kalu pursues Zack as he innocently destroyed a Native American burial ground, and Sul Kalu shows off his master of the hunt title, hunting Zack relentlessly across the world and all the way back to the Saturday's secret home, and even coming to blows with Zack's father, Doc Saturday, and even later coming to blows with Zack himself in order to defend the world from the threat that was Zack. Number 4, The Owlman. Now, The Owlman was the cryptid that terrified me the most as a kid. Originally, it was revealed in the show to be a hoax, but this hoax went so much further as the episode went on. The Owlman was a cryptid that could hypnotize people and make them do its bidding. The cult of the Owlman was made of people from a local European town, and they would dress up and kidnap the other locals in order to sacrifice them to the Owlman. Once revealed, the Owlman was shown as possibly one of the most dangerous cryptids in the show, and its first real appearance was when it attacked the airship, shattered the reinforced glass on the airship, and sucked Zack out into the night sky. The Owlman vaguely reminds me of the legend of Mothman, a very real and terrifying reported cryptid in our own world, with razor sharp claws, hypnotic siren like calls, flight, and seemingly supernatural stealth and awareness. The Owlman was a great cryptid to discover and eventually research, you know, before Doyle caused it to spontaneously combust. Number 3, the Fishkerton Phantom, heir to Lemuria. Coming in at number 3 is our lovable cat, monkey, gorilla, I don't know. Fisk is either way an amazing character and cryptid being a symbolic older brother to Zack and adopted son of the Saturday family. Lovable and just as mischievous as Zack, Fix was shown saving Zack's life and being as close as blood. Later in the series, it gets revealed that Fix is the last of the Lemurians, an ancient race of creatures said to be the guardians of Kerr, which actually meant to be the world's guardians from Kerr. Fix was actually a part of a species that saw Kerr as a great evil and sought to protect the world from it. This being ironic in Zack and Fisk's case, as once again, Fisk did nothing but protect Zack throughout the series. And the actual legend of Lemuria is actually a widely discussed topic. Lemuria was a continent proposed in 1864 by zoologist Philip Slater, theorized to have sunk beneath the Indian Ocean. On the other note of our real world's lore, the Fiskerton Phantom was actually reported on in 1997, August the 27th, by four young girls between the ages of 9 and 14 who were all staying at a caravan park next to a pub at Short Ferry, a hamlet next to Fiskerton. And there were several more reports in the area during 1997, but ultimately, I think this stayed out of sight. Number two, the Yeti, AKA VV Audgast. The Yeti is a mountain variant of the ever popular Bigfoot mythos. Often also referred to as the abominable snowman, the Yeti is possibly one of the most likely creatures to exist in our world. Known as the Scourge of the Himalayan Mountains and one of the only cryptids in the show to ever gain full human speech, 
Wait, well, I don't know about the unnamed Sasquatch-like cryptid that cohabitated with Argos in his early years, but being known and feared by the locals as a dangerous predator, Argos was a true monster. This nature, I believe, learned from watching early black and white horror films. His demeanor, movement, and even speech patterns all likely rehearsed countless hours to convey some form of humanity. Look for subtle changes, posture, voice, attitude, something like this. And finding out he was the Yeti made so many other things shown throughout the show click. How, throughout the series, Argos could leap dozens of feet through the air. How he seemed hunched over, making you think he was a feeble old man and then literally would throw and manhandle Fiskerton or Doc. And most importantly, how once anger he always let out, kinda like a growl as if his well-rehearsed speech patterns would break and falter with his anger, as if he was suppressing his bestial urges to keep his secret kept. Argos was not only a cryptid, he was a true supervillain, with one of the best origin stories I'd ever seen, and if you would all like to see a specific episode on him, you know, leave a like and a comment down below and we might get to that. Finally, at number one to round us off is Zack Saturday, aka Kerr. Kerr in Sumerian mythology was a great dragon that once angered the gods and had to be slain. In other accounts, Kerr was a massive sea serpent that was said to exist between the Earth's crust and the primordial sea. And in other accounts, it was again a dragon that was slain by the great warrior king Gilgamesh. While confusing at its first, it is revealed that Sack is the most recent reincarnation of the god of cryptids, Kerr. This making Zack the literal only human cryptid in the series, well, with the exception of Zack Monday, but we'll get to that video in the future, Zack, even from a young age, had a natural bond with Krypton. From Fist to Komodo, or Zahn, Zack often brought out the best in the cryptids that he met. And as the show's protagonist, Zack was obviously one of my favorite characters overall as well. And I don't know if it's something about teenagers with the weight of the world on their shoulders, but Zack wasn't perfect like many of the other protagonists featured in this format. He was a child, gifted with extraordinary abilities that would allow him to save and protect cryptids, or in alternate versions, completely decimate the world with the power of cryptids. And you can see my how powerful this Zack Saturday video, you want to see what, exactly what I mean by that. But that's it everybody, my top 6 favorite cryptids from the Secret Saturdays and real life mythology behind them. If you made it this far, you're cool, and thank you for checking into the cycle.